I just changed the card out in our trail camera. I got a couple of trail cameras out here on the property and uh, got my cards here. I'm gonna swap them out. When I get through with that, I gotta go to, uh, wanna go do some fence work. Got a little bit more cross fencing to uh, finish. But before we do that, I'm gonna go change another card and uh, ride out and check on the goats there in the back pasture, see how they're doing. Need to move them today up to the next pasture. Before I leave, show you we had a tree to blow down in the springtime and i don't like cutting firewood when it's hot but it's cooled off enough now um today's the last day of october it was in the 40s this morning it's cool so sometime today i may go get my chainsaw but if not today in the next few days start cutting up this tree you can see the storm back in the springtime blew the top out of it broke it it's been up off the ground for the most part and there's lots of firewood there that I'm going to get So I'm going to take that battery out, go put it on charge. I'll bring it back this afternoon and charge it. Feeders seems to be about half full. If you've got game cameras out, this is a lifesaver here. It's a little box. Keep all your SD cards in. It's a good thing to have. Keep up with your cards. <laughs> What's up, little bit? I took the three cattle panels, built a corral. I can use it for a catch pen. I also put the feeder on that over there. That way I can feed them. I can get the feed in there for all of them. I think I'm going to add another trough on one of these end gates to spread it out just a little bit. We don't feed much feed, but we do feed a little bit every day. And uh, just to keep them tame coming around. Also helps their diet just a little bit. But we, uh, we're mostly grass fed. Feed a little hay in the winter time. Keep free choice minerals out. They all seem to be healthy. This is a uh, fence that I'm working on. I started tying it in yesterday. As you can see there, I got a few more to go to get to the top. I got called away. And uh, I'm going to get this fence tied in, roll this wire down, and uh, hope to get it stretched here in a little bit. It's a neighboring pasture. Horses. It goes one down the fence row there. Let's get this tied in. I'm about to get set up to pull this fence. I've got my my fence stretcher, my chain, my come along. I 
I hook to that post there, put my fence stretcher up here, and I'll pull from this end, see if we can get it tight. Okay, I've got everything hooked up, ready to go. I'll show you what I've got hooked up. I'll uh, I put a link to our playlist. It's got all about fence building. It's got, uh, it tells you all how to do all this that I've just done, but I'm gonna just kind of show you a little bit about how it's set up. You saw me earlier, I rolled the fence down. I tied it in at the other end up there, rolled it down. Now this is my fence stretcher. It's a homemade fence stretcher. I um, I made it out of two by fours. Just drilled a couple of holes in it for my chain. Got a couple of carriage bolts. It had four. You don't need but three. And um, just squeeze the wire in between it like that. Tighten it up. You want a central pulling point kind of right in the center like that and I think I'm going to move that one up to right here make it a little more in the center but you hook that up I got my come along got it fixed I got it hooked to that post over there and uh, I just start pulling and stretching and what it will do I think there's enough slack in this fence down through there I'll pull this fence stretcher I'll get it back past this post here and when I get it past this post I'll start cutting my wires wrapping them around and tying them and I'll tie it all in then before I let the tension off of my uh, off of the come along there there's nothing to it just takes a little time Okay, you can see that I've got it pulled. And you may be wondering what's going on here. I'll explain it to you. The fence, there's a heel up there. The top strand is stretched pretty, pretty tight. The bottom is too because of the heel. So when I put the when I put a fence post in there, I'll have to lift that top up probably close to a foot down there where it's folded up on the ground. And that will that will take the uh, the tension out of it or the uh, the bend out of it and make it straight. Now, if you're looking at this, this is not the ideal way to pull it because it's not directly in line. You can see from this fence post, the actual line of the fence is like through here. And I'm pulling at an angle so I got a good two and a half foot between the stretcher or between the fence and the post so what I do the front post on my H brace here I will push it up and tack that and then when I get that done I'll let some slack out and pull the back part over happens all the time I could have went and got my tractor set my tractor out here hooked to the tractor pulled it straight but for this short run here I think I can manage it without doing all that I'll just just do it manually just take a little bit longer <laughs> 